you won't believe what these Japanese female robots can do. In Japan, humanoid AI robots could soon become part of the family. These robots are a testament to technological advancements and can do incredible things. From serving as assistants to providing entertainment, these robots are changing our perspective on artificial intelligence. In this video, we shall take a closer look at what these robots are capable of and what their future holds. So sit back, relax, and discover the fantastic world of Japanese female robots. Japanese robotics pioneered the idea of embodied artificial intelligence. While the West was more concerned with abstract algorithms, Japanese institutions believed that AI innovation should be developed alongside or within the physical artificial body. For decades, Japanese robotics have been at the forefront of realizing the dream of creating companion robots for humans. In addition to nursing and befriending robots for the elderly and sick, the Japanese have created robots that can carry heavy loads, fight fires, and provide physical therapy to patients. As we learned in Chapter 9, the Japanese market for sex robots is one of the most developed in the world. Many AI robots being designed are learning to perform multiple functions rather than just one in their most advanced iterations. Erika, regarded as one of the most beautiful and intelligent androids, is reshaping Japan's robot culture. Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International collaborated on this advanced humanoid, ATR. Erika was created by a team led by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Professor Ishiguro created Erika's facial features using sample images of 30 beautiful women who responded to questions with facial expressions strikingly similar to those of humans. Erika's speech has also improved, as has her ability to understand and respond to questions. It is worth noting that the Japanese are more comfortable with accepting robots as family members than Westerners. What is the reason for this? One explanation can be found in Japan's religious foundations. Unlike the Judeo-Christian tradition, the Shinto religion or way of life incorporates animist beliefs, endowing inanimate objects with spirit and personality. Shinto, the native animistic beliefs about life and death, holds that vital energies, forces, and deities, or essences known as kami, are present in both organic and inorganic matter, as well as naturally occurring and manufactured entities. Jennifer Robertson, a leading scholar and anthropologist on Japanese culture and its progressive relationship to automation, explains, these kami forces can be mobilized in trees, animals, mountains, or robots. Kami is infused and circulates within a tree, a robot, a phone, a dog, a cat, a computer, and a doll. Shintoists believe that there is a true essence to any object or living being that can be discovered through design. Humans shape nature. Think of a bonsai tree. And nature is everything, including machines and other artificial objects. Robots, like human beings, live and exist as part of the natural world in this realm of belief. In Japanese tradition, the distinction between artificial and natural is thus inherently fluid. This is evident in Japanese folklore, which is filled with stories about objects coming to life. Asuna, dubbed the hyperreal android, is a 15-year-old humanoid created in 2014. Many people mistook Asuna for a real-life girl when she was featured at the 2015 Wonder Festival at the Makuhari Messi Convention outside of Tokyo due to her lifelike movements and natural mannerisms. A lab based in Tokyo created Asuna. Asuna stands at 155 centimeters and weighs 43 kilograms. The Japanese believe that Westerners regard robots with suspicion, viewing them as job killers or dehumanizing machines. If the image of the Terminator robot is prevalent in Western pop culture, the image of the robot as a savior is prevalent in Japan. Following the devastation of World War II, recovery and rebuilding of the country were heavily reliant on modern technology and robotics. 
Robots became human-like, kind, and friendly superheroes in post-war Japan. The robot savior became ingrained in popular culture, beginning with the hero prototype Astro Boy, which was created in 1951 when Japan was still reeling from the nuclear disaster of World War II. Osamu Tezuka, a physician and illustrator, made him. Tezuka stated that he wanted to create a creature that was the polar opposite of Pinocchio, a boy who transforms into a thing, as opposed to a thing that transforms into a real boy. You should be familiar with the story by now. Astro Boy's story, like Pinocchio's, has been told in a variety of mediums and animated adaptations. Professor Tenma, the Minister of Science, is obsessed with creating a human-like robot while neglecting his son Tobio. Tobio flees and is killed in a car accident, prompting Tenma to create Astro Boy in his late son's image. Astro Boy transforms into a superhero using his abilities to do good in the world. He can detect whether a person is good or evil and he fights aliens and evil robots. He also battles robot haters like the Black Looks, a group of humans on a mission to exterminate all robots. In one story, Astro defends the Vietnamese against the US Air Force by traveling back to 1969 and preventing Vietnamese villages from being bombed. Astro Boy captured people's imaginations and fueled fantasies about what robots could become. Many Japanese roboticists have an Astro Boy representation in their office space, whether a figurine on their desk or a framed photo of him hanging prominently in their lap. According to Japanese scholars, the curse of Astro Boy is the gap between what cartoon anime and market robots cannot yet do, a constant disappointment to Japanese consumers. In Japan, the belief that machines are caring and giving persists. No doubt, any broad generalization about cultural differences will be broad. Still, there has certainly been a focus in Japan on a robot revolution and the growth of AI in all dimensions of life. In contrast, American AI has primarily focused on military and marketing purposes. If you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. It will be long before human-like robots walk among us daily, but Japanese scientists are bringing us one step closer by creating living human skin on robots. The developed method provided a robotic finger skin-like texture and water repellent and self-healing properties. The finger appears slightly sweaty out of the culture medium, says first author Shoshi Takuchi, a Japan University of Tokyo professor. Because an electric motor powers the finger, it's also interesting to hear the motor's clicking sounds in sync with a finger that looks exactly like a real one. One of the top priorities for humanoid robots frequently interacting with humans in healthcare and service industries is to appear real like humans. A human-like appearance can help with the communication efficiency and likability. While current silicone skin for robots can mimic the human appearance, it falls short in delicate textures such as wrinkles and lacks skin-specific functions. Through a computer-based evolution experiment, a research group of Nagoya University's Graduate School of Informatics has taken a significant step forward creating a neural network with meta-memory. Artificial intelligence technology, based on neural networks that mimic brain circuits, has advanced rapidly in recent years. Understanding the evolution of meta-memory to create artificial intelligence with a human-like mind is one goal of this field of research. Meta-memory is the process in which we ask ourselves if we remember what we ate for dinner the night before and then use that memory to decide whether or not eating something different tonight. While this may appear to be a simple question, answering it is a complicated process. Meta-memory is important because it requires a person to be aware of their memory capabilities and adjust their behavior accordingly. A robot with artificial intelligence has been deployed to resolve congestion issues at Narita International Airport near Tokyo. The robot is about 1.2 meters tall and shaped like a small vehicle. The AI analyzes images captured by its cameras in real time. The robot quickly understands how and where the congestion occurs. When it detects long queues blocking the path, it sends instructions to maintain order. The robot is also on the lookout for suspicious items. When luggage is left unattended for an extended period of time, it alerts the command center. 
One Japanese professor of robotics describes his dream of assigning robots to newborns. The assigned robot will mature and accompany the person throughout their life, serving as a caregiver, friend, bodyguard, and historian. The robot will record and remember everything the person goes through and will care for them literally from the cradle to the grave. They will be lifelong companions. We hope you enjoyed learning about the capabilities of Japanese female robots. From serving drinks to performing complex tasks, these robots are changing the way we think about technology and its role in our daily lives. We can't wait to see what other amazing advancements will come from Japan in the future. Be sure to check this video over here.